Hey guys, uh, welcome to another overclocking tutorial. This time with the ASUS C97 Pro Gamer motherboard. Uh, first of all, please enter the BIOS. You can do that by pressing the delete key. Then you should end up in this nice overview. Uh, on the left side you can see the details of your system. You can see I'm using i7-4790K CPU, running at 4GHz stock. And you can see that I'm uh, using 8GB of memory, 2 times 4 gigabyte each, and also the BIOS version of the uh, Z97 motherboard. So first of all let's go to the advanced mode. You can either press here with the mouse or press F7 on your keyboard. So you should end up in this view and to overclock, which I want to show you in this tutorial, uh, we have to go to the AI tweaker and in this quick tutorial we want to go to let's say 4.5 gigahertz and the first step would be to set the XMP profile, uh, the AI overclock tuner to XMP. This loads the extreme memory profile of your memory, so it makes sure that all the memory settings are done correctly and it's running at a perfect speed and also the timings are uh, set by default. So uh, if you apply XMP you should see this notice and I recommend to press no because otherwise it's going to do some automatic tuning stuff which we don't want to do, we want to do it ourselves to gain even more performance. So after loading the XMP you can see it's 2400 MHz, it's uh, some G-Skill memory, Trident X and C10 and also the voltages are set correctly. So the next step, scroll down and go to the CPU call ratio. Set this one to sync all cores, it means that all the cores of your CPU are set to the same multiplier. And set the one core ratio limit to 45. So if you scroll back up, you can see the target CPU turbo frequency is going to be 4500 4, MHz. So go back down, the CPU cache ratio, the cache combines the memory and the system agent with your core uh, it's ki kind of an internal bus um, I recommend to set this one to 40 uh, for both min and max it's not gonna help you a lot for performance so um, leave this one on 40 is totally fine all the other options you just don't need them so no need to touch also the DRAM frequency is set correctly by the XNP already no need to touch this one as well so next step is are the voltages. You can see the CPU core voltage stock is around 1.03 volt. Uh, we want to do the manual mode. This means we want to set the voltage ourselves. And I recommend to start around 1.25 volt. And the CPU cache voltage around also manual mode around 1.15 volt. And that's actually it. There's not, not not really more you have to do to to overclock the CPU. Uh, the system agent and the analog I/O and the digital I/O voltages are for memory, but you can leave those on auto. Also, the XMP profile will take care of them, so no need to touch them. So the the only thing left to do for me would be to go to advanced CPU configuration, scroll down, CPU power management configuration and disable the speed step technology and disable the C states. This will prevent the CPU from clocking down and lowering the voltages in idle. Um, so you will always have the full performance and the full speed and it will, it will also be a little bit um, more stable on the road. So another thing you can do now is go to tools, ASUS overclocking profile and just save whatever you just did. Let's call it 4500 and save it to profile 1. You can see it's saved here. Now just simply uh, hit F10 and go to Windows. Okay, as you can see I successfully booted into Windows. Now you need three tools, mainly Prime95, CPU-Z from CPU-ID and CoreTemp. CoreTemp will show you the temperatures of your, all your uh, four CPU cores. CPU-Z will show you all the information about your system. So opening CPU-Z you can see using the i7-4790K CPU running at uh, around 1.25 volt 
and 4.5 gigahertz here. Also, if you go to mainboard, you can see using the Z97 Pro Gamer motherboard and also the BIOS version. And memory, uh, 8 gigabytes are present. This is the cache ratio, it's the Northbridge frequency called here, but it's actually the cache frequency which we set earlier in the, in the BIOS. Um, you can see it's running at 2400 megahertz. It's 1200 here because of DDR, which means the double data rate. And also the sub timings are set correctly. So the next step would be to use Prime95. Um, set 1344 here, 1344 here, run FFTs in place. And once you start this one, you should keep it running for around one hour. And the, the, uh, the temperature here should not exceed, let's say, 90 degrees. And if you if you stay below 90 degrees and it's stable, you're good. There's, there's nothing else you can do, you can just, just game and see if it's stable. If it exceeds 90 degrees, you should quit out here, the test, and go back to the BIOS and lower the, the core voltage. If it's not stable and not exceeding the, the temperature, you should lower the, the frequency. So. Starting this, you can see the temperature is raising quite fast. For me, it's gonna gonna stay around, let's say, 85, 86 degrees, which should be totally fine. And yeah, you can see this is running stable now. Um, if it would quit now, if it would be unstable, there is not much room for me left in the core voltage. So the next step for me would be to clock back down to 4.4 gigahertz by lowering the multiplier in the BIOS to 44 instead of 45. Alright, uh, that's about it. So if you have any questions or problems, just comment and I will try to help you. Uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys.